subscribers and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot for those of you guys who are new to the channel y'all welcome to my returning subscribers welcome back my loves so this is going to be a general collective reading but this is a pick a pile edition so this is um will they reach out will they reach out so let's let's get into it y'all let's get into it put my obsidian back up here real quick and we're gonna get right into it so i'm using two different decks y'all i'm using my tarot deck my awakened tarot okay and i'm going to use my twin flame journey messages by mystic moon oracles y'all can feel free to go check out her etsy shop um if you really enjoy the decks like i do but if you are seeking answers to the person who is not speaking to you while you guys are in no contact and you want to know um if this person may possibly reach back out or you just kind of want to be nosy and find out what's going on let's let's find out why did they ghost you all right so we got power one we got Pile two, and we got half three. All right. So take a moment and pick whichever pile um, you feel drawn to. Okay. Take a moment, take a breath, and pick whichever pile you feel the most drawn to. I'm gonna give y'all a moment. I'm gonna give y'all a minute. I'm gonna turn my other light on. Okay. <laughs> If you chose, I'm going to start from right to left this time. I know I usually go from left to right, but I'm going to start from right to left. Okay, so if you chose pile number one, chose pile number one, this is who ghosted you, what's going on with them, and you can you can judge. I'm going to let you be the judge based on the cards that come out from each pile Um, if this person may reach back out to you. And I'm going to move my piles over so I can spread the cards out, Okay. I will come back for you. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, karma is a bitch. I finally got mine. You're never far from my mind. You are irreplaceable. So if you chose this pile, you guys, this pile right here is very much giving. This person thought the grass was greener on the other side. This is very much giving the energy of this person thinks about you regularly um, from time to time. I'm hearing that song by Drake. Um... Let's see what tarot messages correspond with, with these oracle messages. Let's see. The Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, High Priestess, Justice. That's karma, okay? Spirit does not lie, okay? And I can't make this up. Justice is here. High Priestess is here. This person knows that you know that justice is has been served in this situation, this person also knows that you know that they regret leaving you because you were probably the best thing that ever happened to them. Ten of Pentacles, baby. Okay. Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. This person knows that even without them in your life, you are still very much abundant. This person may want to reach out um, with the Ace of Swords energy here. If y'all can see this, this person may very much want to reach out to you, but they know that you... You are coming with a sword, with this Ace of Swords. And so they feel like you may be very cutthroat and direct if they were to reach out to you for a new start with the Ace of Pentacles. You may already be, um, you may have already moved on because the Six of Swords is here. This Six of Swords, y'all can see that. You may have already moved on, but this person w wants to try to see if they can start a new opportunity with you. I feel with this Ace of Pentacles, they may try to reach back out to you. They might send you a text or whatever the case is. And this person may even think that you're already in a committed relationship with someone. And even if you're not, this person knows that you are worth 
the investment. With the Seven of Pentacles here, baby, they know that you are worth the investment. So if you chose pile number one, these are the messages that came out. Spirit doesn't lie. It could be someone with heavy Capricorn or Earth placements, Taurus Virgo placements. Could be air energy. I got Libra, Pisces. Those are just some of the, the energies that came up. All right, so that was pile number one. All right, let's get into pile number two. So if you chose pile number two, these are the messages that came out. I'm just doing what I have to do right now. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. I'm afraid to take that next step right now. And it really was me, not you. I feel like here, the energy here, right? This person is focused on themselves right now. They may have gotten themselves into some deep shit that they can... It's a lot of drama, I feel like, going around. Whoever this person is, if you chose pile number two, there's a lot of drama going on with them. Um, they want to come to you, but I feel like this person is scared because if they come to you, they know they have to come correct. And and that this saying right here, it really was me, not you, tells me that this person it has reflected back on the situation and this person does actually take accountability for the actions. However, they're in survival mode. And that's really not somebody that you would even want to come back around to you because if they're in survival mode, what can they actually do for you? See what I'm saying? So this person has, they're trying to work on themselves and it could be emotionally. Um, if they were battling addiction, they could be working through that. Or if they're just, they're just lost, they could be trying to find themselves. So we got the Knight of Cups. This person does still have romantic feelings for you. Um... The Page of Pentacles, they are coming up as a page. So this tells me right here that they have very little to offer. With the Six of Pentacles, I feel like it was a very um, unrequited love situation between you and this person. I feel like, you know, you had plans to make this relationship work because you also had romantic feelings for this person. However, with the Six of Pentacles, it was imbalanced. You may have been the person over giving and this person wasn't giving enough because like I said, they're in survival mode. They're just doing what they have to do to get by. And that's not somebody who's ready for a relationship. Queen of Cups, yep, you were the giver. You were over giving. And if this applies and this resonates, feel free to drop a comment and let me know. It's okay to admit that maybe in the past you did overgive to this person, but hopefully you learned a lesson from that. Yeah, which is why things didn't work out. We have the tower here, which is major arcana. You had to choose yourself. I feel that strongly. With the Two of Cups, even though you have a lot of love for this person, um, and I feel like this could have been what a lot of people refer to in tarot as a twin flame connection. Y'all know how I feel about that term. But I do feel like there was a reason that your souls came together. I feel like there were lessons to be learned. The sun is here. I feel like this connection may have triggered you to start healing and think about how you perceive love and relationships in general. In general, right? And teaching you to love yourself more and pour into yourself just as much as you would pour into another person. Yup, thank you, Spirit. I cannot make this up. The Queen of Wands is here. Spirit had to allow, allow things to come to light with this person, allow you to see that this person may have been draining your energy. This person wasn't really ready with the Two of Pentacles. Like they wanted you, but they also... We're still trying to get themselves together, I feel like, financially. Because remember, this person shows up as a page, right? Page of Pentacles. And we don't want page energy when it comes to us. When it comes to love, we don't want that. So even though there was a connection there, and I feel like you guys will always have, like, a special connection with this person. Um, I feel like with the lover's card, this is soulmate energy. The person who's going to really bring you the most joy with the sun here and the happiness, that person is going to give you that six of pentacle energy. They're going to give you what you need. They're going to give you that love and support and they're going to see your worth and value you. They're not going to waste your time. They're not going to lie to you. I feel like this person may have been guilty of um, painting themselves to be better than what they really were. <laughs> In this connection so if this person if you and this person went separate ways and you haven't heard from this person in a while it's a possibility that they may reach back out to you i don't see it happening because if it was a really nasty fallout the way things are here and this person just wasn't pulling their weight in the relationship um and you guys are finally pouring into yourselves it's not even worth it anyway like even if they were to reach out so what so what if they're not giving what they're supposed to give so what right 
So if you chose pile number two, this is these are the messages for you, okay? In regards to the person that you're thinking about that you're not in contact with, what's going on with this person? This is what's going on here. They don't know if they're cut out for this. Like I said, they're afraid to take that next step because they're not really prepared. It was really them, not you. They're just in survival mode, okay? So moving on to pile number three, let's get into that. So we did, we did one, move this over. We did two, and let's get into pile three. All right, so we have, you've affected my life significantly. Wow, you may have been, I'm already feeling right off the bat that you may have been with this person for a while. I'm trying to do the honorable thing. This person may have had, there may have been children involved. Am I good enough for you? This person also may have dealt with some deep insecurities. I just got caught up in the moment, yeah. This person could have been highly insecure, had a baby mama or a situation they were dealing with, could have been divorced and had a child involved. I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. Let's see. We got the page of cups. Ooh, ooh. We have the Hierophant. We have the Hierophant. We have the page of swords. <laughs> Ace of wands. And the five of pentacles. This, yep, insecurity shows up. Five of pentacles is here, y'all. So, hold on. Let me move this over a little bit. Y'all can't see the five of pentacles, so I'm going to move this over a little bit. I'm going to move it over. Move it over. Okay. Yeah, so you and this person maybe had a special bond. So if you chose pile number three, this person says they just got caught up in the moment. They were in their fields when they met you. This person may have been, like I said, they may have been relishing an insecurity and negative emotions and feeling. And um, you just kind of gave them that new spark, that new motivation. Keep in mind, anytime that you have an intimate or even sexual encounter with someone, you're exchanging energy. So this person may have harvested your energy, your good energy, because they themselves have, um, like I said, they have, whoever this person is, they definitely have insecurities. And this person may have harvested your energy and said, uh, or wanted to stay with you because you helped boost their confidence. Okay. Says, am I good enough for you? That's that five of pinnacle lack mentality. I'm not good enough. What do they think about me? Insecurity type of thing. The ace of wands is they got that thing. It's the passion, the chemistry, the sexual tension, the sexual energy, right? The attraction, the physical attraction. They were very much attracted to you and vice versa. Whoever this person is that you're not speaking to currently. Page of swords, page of swords. They may reach out to you because they're curious to know if you've moved on. With the Hierophant, this person, for some of you guys, you may have found something out because the Page of Swords is also gossip here. And I feel like for some of you guys, this person may have been married. Now, this message is not for everybody, but you may have found out that this person may have had a child with someone with the Hierophant here. This person may have been a, in a committed relationship with someone else when they met you, or this person may have been married. For some of you guys, though, you're married now. <laughs> the shoe, or you're in a ha happily loving relationship and the shoe is on the other foot. This person is curious to know about you. So if you haven't been speaking to this person in a while, like some years, this person may actually reach out to you with this page of swords and they may reach out with an apology page of cups because this is like my, the page of cups is kind of like, they realize that they were childish, page of cups. They realize that they really didn't pour their heart into the relationship due to their insecurities right am i good enough for you now they're trying to do the honorable thing they might try to come back and talk to you because they're curious or they heard that you've moved on and they've heard that you maybe you're in a relationship with someone they heard that you're doing well and they want you to know how much of an impact you had on their life because keep keep in mind they felt a special bond with you that they never felt before so if this is your story and this energy resonates heavily with you, this person may actually reach out. They might actually reach out. You might hear from them. But keep in mind, they're, giving, they're coming in a page energy. They're coming in a page energy. And keep in mind, this person was, um, I feel like this, especially if this was a fire sign 
um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person had a lot of passion. There was a lot of passion and energy there. But at the same time, this person didn't have, they weren't secure in themselves. So they couldn't be in, secure in a relationship with you. They could, they didn't have a whole lot to offer here. They weren't bringing a whole lot to the table. And maybe you wanted marriage with this person, but I feel like you guys, you, I feel like you guys were moving in separate directions and that's what caused, um, this relationship to go south because maybe you wanted something long term with the hierophant here and now you have it when well, you wanted it with this person they weren't ready like i said they were insecure maybe they didn't have their finances together whatever the case is they could have been could have already been in a situation where they had a child with someone and dealing with that but they weren't ready either regardless of the situation they were not ready okay and so when somebody is not on your time, they're not in alignment with what you're looking for. It's okay for you to set the boundary and say, you know what? It was for a good time, not a long time. We had a good time together, good energy. I hold no harsh feelings towards you, but I'm ready to move on with my life as you should. Okay. So you guys, that concludes the pick a pile. Who goes to you and will they reach out? I feel like if you chose piles one and three, the person will definitely reach out pile number two i don't feel it so much but let me know in the comments if it resonates and thank you guys so much for watching um please keep in mind that to valentine's day is coming up so if you would like to book a full in-depth relationship reading with me i have several on my website um the link will be listed down in the description box below and use the code love for 20 percent off at checkout love you guys peace out